And we are back with Bill Fizz on Mr. Ben, and today we are continuing our farewell tour of DC Dual Force. I hardly knew you. And today we're going to be diving into The Man Who Laughs. Now, this is an Ed Brubaker Batman comic that I've been a fan of for a very long time. Pretty excited to see how it is represented within the DC Dual Force universe. Follow Batman early in his career as he begins his partnership with James Gordon and first encounters his deadliest foe, the Joker, adapts Batman the Man Who Laughs. Alright, so we are going to play this comic. Let's go. An abandoned factory, Gotham City. The Gotham City Police have been summoned to a grisly murder scene. The headlights look really cool here. The paramedics carry out the bodies of the victims one by one. Oh, jeez. Each more gruesome than the last. Detective Jim Gordon should be used to the violence in Gotham City. But he's never seen something like this before. Ever since the Batman first showed up a year ago, things have started to get more chaotic in the city. More dangerous and freakish criminals have begun to emerge. Just a few months ago, Batman had a fateful encounter with a serial criminal, a man calling himself the Red Hood. Alright, so we're going to play through this as Batman and Jim Gordon team up. That's pretty cool. We don't get to play as Jim Gordon in the game proper. So this is one of those comic mode only leaders. Alright, so the first thing we always gotta do... Ooh, I don't want that in my opening hand. It's a long way to be able to play Lucius, but it can be very game-changing when you get to him. So the first thing I always like to do is look at what the other person does. So shoot randomly. I think that deals three random damage. What show me if I click? Yeah, three one damage shots. Uh, yeah, let's play defensive to start. So our guard's gonna get a boost because Joker's part of the, or, sorry, spoilers, Redhead's part of the, uh, Anarchy faction. Aw, oh, you made me disarm. Batman. Alright, this guy's a real problem. We gotta take care of him for sure. Fortunately, we have just the card to deal with him. And we don't want to lose our blocker. Still so we're going to hope for a Batarang and get it. So we can take out that line with that Batarang. And then everything else is going to go face. I don't think we need to develop another defensive guy here. So we'll put down an offensive guy who also lets us draw a card. I forgot to look at what Jim Gordon does. Squad car. So I'm pretty sure that card has haste. Sorry, speed. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that's pretty decent. So next turn we'll be able to have a burst for three without having to develop. That's real good. Kind of annoying that the random shot happened to hit our one health guy. It's okay, we're going to punish his play. So the squad car is going to clear count Vertigo here. Harvey's going to get rid of this guy. I guess we play Renee Montoya. So I don't really like this card, to be honest. In order to really get value out of her, you have to have characters with Hunter already in play, which we did have one, but giving him the ambush for the turn was not going to be super relevant there. I guess we could have killed one of the Punch of Julie's and not gotten hit back. That would have been good. Man, this defender just lives forever. 
Okay, so Batman is going to deal with our, with our minion here. Yeah, I'll take a little healing. That's cool. And then everything else goes face. Uh, we can try to develop this guy, but I don't think he's going to live very long. And we might as well play this because we have the resources. I guess I'll take the healing again. There's an argument I should have taken the battery right there just to be ready. Hmm. That's gonna kill a lot of our guys. Jeez. Oh, what? Why would he? Okay, that's an example of really bad AI right there. That's not the gadget I wanted. I really wanted to heal there. So that man goes down, that's not great. But I think we probably still have this. I think we probably still got this. And just to make Jimbo proud, we're gonna finish it off with his squad car. Here we go. Done. Frightened by Batman, the Red Hood tries to flee the scene but falls into a vat of chemicals. Batman appears, and as if on cue, the two detectives assess the scene. Batman believes these victims were someone's idea of practice. That something bigger is coming. They'll have to work together in secret if they hope to stop whatever the threat is. Gotham City Social Club, the following evening. This guy's... The look on this guy's face is so smug. <laughs> With this big ham hawk of a hand. Wealthy businessman Henry Clayridge petitions Bruce Wayne to help finance a new chemical processing factory. Bruce feigns interest, but is distracted by the news report playing on the TV. <coughs> Ongoing renovations to Arkham Asylum, Batman, Fact or Fiction. Commissioner Loeb resigns in scandal. Oh, man. But the coughing soon turns to uncontrollable laughter. And this is... And a new figure emerges from the shadows. He calls out Henry Clayridge by name and says that he will be dead at midnight tonight. It's pretty rough, Joker. Batman races to the scene of the broadcast. Vroom. Neither Batman nor the GCPD can find any solid leads on the killer. Batman notes that the TV crew's mobile transmitter van has been stolen, allowing the killer to live broadcast from anywhere. Later that night, the media watches intently as the GCPD arrives at Clayridge's penthouse. To protect him from the killer they have dubbed the Joker, Batman also surveys the area from above the rooftops. Okay, choose a gadget to start in your hand. Probably tear gas is the best early game gadget if they're not going to let me have a batarang. Gordon and the GCPD have set up a per security perimeter to protect Clayridge. The clock strikes midnight, but there has been no sign of an attack. Batman notices that something is wrong. Ha ha ha. Help. Ha ha ha. Help. Batman is too late to save him. Clayridge is dead. 
the police have radio reports of another incident in Gotham City. Batman offers to go investigate. Across Gotham City, the sound of screams and gunfire can be heard from blocks away. Patients have been freed from a nearby mental facility and are now rampaging through the streets. Their victims beg for their lives. I mean, I realize this was written at another time. But just because somebody's in a mental facility doesn't automatically mean they're going to go out and do crimes. Okay, back to the story. Batman arrives to put a stop to their violence. This does look really cool. Oh, another Batman Jimbo team up. After any player discards a card, deal one damage to a random character. Definitely don't want you. Silas is a pretty late game card too. Better. The Violent Lunatic gets plus four in Flurry. Three, three turns. Deal three damage to a random enemy. Ooh, and they make you discard a card? I don't like that very much. I guess we start here. Me to start things. I don't like this. Give me a battery. Come on. This is what I want. Creepy coming into play effect off the trickster. That wheezing laughter. Alright, let's throw some defenses up. He'll get the bonus because these guys are anarchy faction. Um, Batman's gonna kill a trickster. Finally find a batarang. We'll use that to clear the uh, We'll go ahead and help. throw some heals into Batman. I guess we can develop Huntress. So many dudes, though. Let's risk it. Probably should have killed Trickster there. Fiend murderer, huh? Commissioner Gordon card. I really need to deal with this guy. Yeah, that sucks. I would really rather put Huntress for five attacks and work better, but can't leave that guy up. Plays that like some of those energy cards that played multiple RPG mates per turn. But yeah, that's a lot of damage. Nice 
still got a few tricks on my sleeve. I should have worked a little harder to clear the board. I think I'm not going to get too badly punished for it though. Necessarily good. Yeah. yeah, these guys didn't stand a chance. But it's not gonna matter because of the Batmobile effect. Even if Batman didn't have his his ultimate this turn, it does. But even if he didn't, I would still be able to end the round. GG. Escaped criminals. Batman has dealt with the current threat. Meanwhile. Gordon reconstructs the crime scene at the mental clinic where the patients were held. The Joker blasted his way in, killing the security guards. He freed the most dangerous patients and gave them loaded weapons and unleashed them on Gotham City. Gordon will spend the entire night tracking down the escapees. Wayne Manor the next day. Bruce heads down into the Batcave to analyze the Joker poison he extracted from the victims. He learns that Clay Ridge was infected with a slow-acting variant of the toxin from before the Joker's broadcast. Before the Bat computer can finish the final chemical analysis, the Joker makes another appearance. The Joker declares his next victim. Jay Wilde will die at midnight. Bruce thinks Mr. Wilde may have already been infected with the toxin. He wonders what the connection between these targets could be. Okay, so we can upgrade. After you heal a friendly character, leaders get plus one health. After you a recruit enters your hand from play, they become zero cost. That's pretty good. After you activate Batman, KO each enemy recruit with zero attack. Hmm, that's pretty heavily reliant on tear gas. I mean, I guess this is reliant on the bat rope, and this is healing. I think... I think we'll go with the healing one. Later that night, Jay Wild undergoes a battery of tests, but no poison is found in his system. He rests inside his mansion, which the police have put under complete lockdown. And Batman watches from the shadows. Between the officers inside and the helicopter outside, Wild is extremely well guarded. Gordon is still on edge, but all reports indicate no movement anywhere near the home. That guy's facial hair is unacceptable. The minutes tick away until midnight arrives. The helicopter's searchlight pans toward the window. 
The helicopter has been sabotaged. I mean, that's not sabotage. That looks like a missile hit it. <laughs> the lights go out inside the house. Gordon calls out to find his officers, to find Wilde, and keep him safe. Gas bombs fly into the room. The GCPD scrambles to attach their gas masks, creating a perfect moment for the Joker to ambush them. This is a pretty crazy plan. Batman descends upon Joker, knocking off his night vision goggles. But Joker is resilient and strikes back. Alright, so we get our tear gas, we get our health bonus to our leaders when we heal. Uh, after you deploy a recruit, give them hidden. That's pretty annoying. After any player discards a card, deal one damage to a random character. Alright, here we go, Joker. Let's fight. Uh, well, we never want to start with gold cards in our hand, like, ever. Uh, I'm not even super keen for that silver card. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well, I would have kept that over both of these. That's not great. Um, dude, he made me discard my... Fire four shots that deal one damage at random enemies. The Joker gets hidden. Oh, no! So every two turns he can hide himself? That's... That's just mean. I like those sleeves. Dude, all those guys are hidden. This is going to be so hard to deal with. Okay, well, let's try to protect Alfred, just so we can keep the medkit mill going. Definitely want to heal twice. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Alfred this turn. I have to hit. Whoa. Oh, random damage. And that Joker, so I can't even attack Joker this turn. Man, I don't like that that guy's just like hanging out there. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Sure. Let's charge Batman and give him Hunter. Uh, we'll take this guy out with a battering. I still have a few tricks up oh, my no, don't do that. Oh, well, Hunt. Oh. Actually, it's okay, because Hunter lets me ignore hidden. So now the question is do I take this dude out? Yeah, we'll take this guy out. Don't think we use Jim Gordon here. Yeah, let's just draw the cards. So we could use Jim there, and we have a 50 50 of getting the 3 3 body in front of Batman, which is meaningful given his health and up. Uh, yeah, Batman's about to die. Uh, but being able to, like, burst damage and not have that body exposed to all the Joker's random stuff seem maybe the way to go? Uh, clearly not correct decision, given where things have ended up. that Renee the always problem always 
hidden again somehow. doesn't really help anything. <laughs> this is not good. This will put an invasive guy in front of me, which at the very least will be something you have to chop through to get to my last remaining leader. Uh, I don't think I want to bounce these. Again. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. This. This is not good. Again, I really felt too slow in the mid game. I gotta be, I gotta be a little more crunchy. Yeah, I've got my first two turns with this stuff here, so I definitely can afford to keep the Huntress, even though she's not like an ideal. Like I'd rather have Robin, but the idea that I could throw her back and then get a gold card that I won't even be able to play for the whole game. No, thank you. Alright, let's get our defenses up. This dude, of course, gets the bonus. Because this is an anarchy leader. I'm glad he crashed his guy. Yikes. Oh, nice. Let's charge Batman and give him Hunter. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. This would be the kind of board, if these characters live, that Rin and Montoya would look a little bit better on. But even here, I don't really want to use my hunters to attack into a character. Oh, he's hidden. Okay, so then we do... Crazy how much easier this was. Like, this is 
This is probably over. Gordon's cool power that time. Nice. Batman apprehends the Joker. As he does, right? But the Joker catches Batman off guard. That looks like the weakest headbutt ever. And that one opening is all he needs to make a getaway. The Joker escapes unaware that Batman placed a tracking device on him during their scuffle. Among the chaos, Jay Wilde became the Joker's next victim. Ace Chemical Plant the next day. Batman's research finally finds a connection linking the Joker's two targets. Wild and Clayridge were the main investors in the Ace Chemical Processing Plant when it opened 20 years ago. The plant is now condemned, but Batman plans to go undercover to investigate. Speaking to the man in charge of closing the plant, he discovers that certain chemicals at the plant can stain the skin white and turn hair bright green. Batman now wonders if falling into that vat truly was the end of the Red Hood. The tracking device placed on the Joker finally begins transmitting, leading Batman to an abandoned office in Old Gotham City. There is evidence of a recent break-in. Batman finds the tracking device on the floor and must have shaken loose on entry. What a terrible tracking device. Like, it didn't start transmitting until, like, it got kicked off. The Joker seems to be... <clears throat> the Joker seems to have been looking at old city maps. Of the sewers and tunnels below Gotham City. Has the Joker been using them to get around quickly and unnoticed? What should Batman investigate? Alright. We can give all our recruits plus two health by developing an antitoxin. After we activate Batman, give him plus two attack and ambush. Uh, research the Red Hood. After you play an action, give enemy recruits minus one attack for the turn. I guess I'll take the extra reach for Batman. Batcave the next day. The Joker makes another broadcast, calling out his next round of victims. This time he's targeting two people, and one of them is socialite Bruce Wayne. Bruce is confused about why he's being targeted since he has no involvement with the Ace Chemical Plant. Wayne Manor, later that night, half of, half of Gotham City Police Force is guarding Bruce Wayne at his home. Imagine how annoyed Bruce would be in this situation. Bruce assures them that their protection is unneeded when he has his team of physicians nearby, but the police refuse to leave his side. Bruce must figure out how to get away from the police if Batman is to stop the Joker. Uh-oh. The officers try to subdue Bruce so the doctor can administer the antitoxin. As the toxin spreads, Bruce is overcome by delirium. The doctors rush to get him into an ambulance. as his mind slips away from reality and into his past. He must fight off madness. Okay, so Batman and Bruce Wayne team up for this one. That's cool. <laughs> We're fighting traumatic memories. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we get all our bonuses, and the bad guy, after an enemy is KO'd, create a trauma in your opponent's deck. We don't, I guess I don't know what that is, but we will find out. No 
thank you. Not thrilled with any of those, really. Okay. So 2-5, it creates a trauma. Deal 2 damage to a random friendly character. Gross. Uh, create three traumas in the opponent's deck. Each opponent discards a random card and then draws a card. Okay. Mm, I guess that's... Well, we'll make it so that I can't really attack. Very weak start. opponents. We'll do that for sure. We can battering this knucklehead. I believe with the bonus we're going to be up to a 5. No? Oh, there it is. And I've ambushed, so we'll take the move back, which is cool. Uh, I can't... Do, do I heal this guy? Yeah, I'll go ahead and heal this guy. It's maybe not the best use of a bandage, but... Keeps a few more stats, kind of sticky to the board, plus we have the added benefit of that giving plus one health to both my leaders every time we kill anybody. Gotta love Lucia, Lucius. Yeah, what does he do? Probably should have read that in the beginning, but whatever. That's a good card. So we haven't drawn any of these trauma cards yet. I'm curious if we draw them if they'll like auto play. It sure seems like they should. So I'm gonna make this guy. Strong turn. So hopefully he's not able to clear Robin. Because once you start attacking with Robin, a lot of times that seals games up. If you can attack with him even once or twice. And damage to leader, that's not great. Okay, we have to deal with Bane. We cannot let Bane attack. Sucks, but we have to. <laughs> Cannot let Bane attack. Helpful here, so I guess that's our best play. I don't want to attack into this character with Batman, so I guess there's no reason to activate him. Play trauma. Okay, that makes sense. I still have a few tricks on my sleeve. in front of Batman, and we'll neutralize this character as an attacker. 
We should, I think, be able to close this out next turn. Traumatic memories are no match for me. It's a lot of damage. It's gonna matter, but wow. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. There we go. Sound with traumatic memories. Alfred slaps Bruce back into consciousness and explains that Bruce's plan to escape the mansion was a success, but they've run into a new obstacle. <laughs> I love it. Bruce believes the attack is a diversion, and he now knows what the Joker is planning, and he might be able to stop it. But first... He must deal with the Joker's goons. No match. Okay, clown mercenary, clown assassin. Clown mercenary, clown assassin. Let's go. You got nothing. I'll get hit with a Jimbo Bruce sandwich. No. No. Risky key. Rewarded though. That's pretty good. No lead here. Let's see what this guy does. One damage to each enemy, two damage to a random enemy. Okay. Gets fire from yeah, we gotta kill this guy first. Fortunately, I already have a battering to deal with this knucklehead. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. keep taking the damage from now. Probably should be grabbing the thing. Because I can really put my guys out of reach of the random damage shenanigans. And I probably should be prioritizing healing. <laughs> Immediately punished. Alright, well. Jimmy Jazz car here. This dude, plus two batterings, is gonna eliminate Joker from the equation. Tear gas will let us value clean up that guy. Only leaves one damage to put into this clown, which is a bummer for sure. Um, let's put some heals into Gordon. Feels like a turn. So I'm not thrilled about the assassin being able to get his his ability to go off. But as long as we kill him like right now, I should be able to avoid getting punished too hard by the firepower. Yeah, so we'll eliminate that guy totally. Still have a few tricks up my sleeve. 
guess I'll take the heals. Yeah, I did. I gotta deal with that shot. I don't really want to put that guy back in hand. I guess I have to. That sucks. Otherwise, he'll just kill my guard. It really doesn't matter what he makes me discard here. Oh, this is actually not great. Made a little bit of a miscalculation here. I think we're still gonna be okay. Because we're gonna heal here, which is going to heal both of our guys. Uh, be able to eliminate this dude. Yeah, we'll lose the guard here, but that's not a big deal. If he can't get through to Huntress, this is GG. Like, nothing else matters. Although, I'd rather have Batman get the, get the killing blow still in. Have you tricks up my sleeve. Just be thorough, I guess. The henchmen are no match for Batman. Batman radios Detective Gordon. He's realized the purpose of the old reservoir system maps. He tells Gordon that the Joker is going to pump poison into the city's water supply. The Joker plans to make everyone suffer the same way that he did. So, he can coordinate. So after Batman attacks, Jim gets charged. Uh, at the start of your first turn, draw a silver card and reduce its cost. That's kind of cool. Or the first time you discard a card, each turn draw a card. Well, you know a lot of these enemies are making me discard. Yeah, let's go with that one. Gotham City Water Plant. Joker's televised threats have diverted the police away from his true target. His henchmen have already begun pumping poison into the old reservoir. <laughs> this guy's cigar looks funny. Batman must decide to sneak past the guards to reach the Joker, or take out the perimeter defense first. How should Batman approach the situation? Take out the guards or confront the Joker? I feel like this is more my, my speed. Let's go. Batman orders the Joker to surrender. But Joker tells Batman that he's arrived too late. Batman is one step ahead of him. He triggers a gadget, which detonates an explosion at the viaduct, cutting off the water supply to the city. The Joker is stunned that Batman would go so far to stop his plan, but Batman knows that he had to do this to save lives and that the city will recover. But the Joker charges at Batman in a maniacal rage. He's got a ball peen hammer, man. Alright, so we have to fight the Joker and his clown lookout. Look at all this stuff. This is like so much stuff. Whatever, let's go. Whoa, this is, this is horrifying. Even, even that was probably okay. Thank goodness, we didn't get punished for that. Wow, I see why we were given the option to fight all these dudes before we fought Joker. This is nuts. So what's an alerted guard look like? He becomes a 4-3 and gains guard. Okay. I don't super care about that. Yeah, 
let's make it so these guys can't do anything. That seems good. Alright, what do you got, Joker? We'll just squander some squander some recruit points in. Okay. We may have made a mistake. <laughs> Here. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Nice. Alright, so we were able to deal with the initial bunch of crap. Once again, left with a Harvey with no targets. Here we need to get ahead. This is not ideal. Well, let's make that guy into nothing. Best we can do. Not a good turn. I think we'll be able to get an attack off with Robin. And that should supercharge our, our leader economy. We need to discard. Come on, Mars. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. I was gonna say we should be okay here, but I don't know, man. These clowns are getting big. Should have played Batman first. That's annoying. I still have a few tricks on my sleeve. Alright, so that's enough to eliminate Joker. And Robin can safely take this guy out. And I'll heal Robin, and then I'll heal both my leaders. Guess we go here.
one of those cards, Mania. Looks a little scary for a minute there. We got through it. The man deals the Joker a decisive blow, remembering the Joker's victim. Victims, Bat. Remembering the Joker's victims, Batman considers dropping him into his own poison. But he won't allow himself to become a killer. That is not the kind of justice he believes in. GCPD Rooftop. The city struggles with the loss of the water viaduct, but a generous donation from Bruce Wayne provides the funds to quickly rebuild it. Batman meets with Jim Gordon. Having overcome the nightmare together, they agree to continue their alliance. Gordon has something new to show Batman. A signal. Okay. I've got the signal here as my emblem. So that brings us to the end of Batman the Man Who Laughs. There's, there's a bunch more comics to check out here on the channel. I am Mr. Ben. This is the build phase. Go win some games.